الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم اما بعد ايها الاحباب here we have a hadith of the messenger of allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and a fatwa from an alim ahl sunnah which is pertinent to us in dealing with some of the doubtful things that some of the extreme Sufis practice and groups like the Jamaat al-Ahbash and even the Shia, what they do in supplicating to the dead or trying to bring doubts to say you could supplicate to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ahl sunnah rejects this. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam didn't do it. The Sahaba didn't do it. Radiallahu ta'ala anhu majma'een. And the Salaf of this Ummah didn't do it. Rahimahumullah jami'an. Ayyul Ahbab, let's listen to this fatwa that was, uh, this question that was asked. It's about the hadith, Tawassal al-A'ma. And this is the hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, which is a hadith of the blind, a blind man seeking intercession. The questioner asked, Hadith Tawassal al-A'ma, al-A'ma, bi dua Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, what about the hadith of the blind man who sought intercession from the dua of the Prophet ﷺ, meaning he asked the Prophet ﷺ to supplicate for him. Sheikh Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab al-Wasabi, rahimahullah ta'ala, he answered, hadith tawassal al-a'ma bi dua Nabi ﷺ, وعلى آله وسلم حديث صحيح وليس فيه مخالفة للقرآن ولا للسنة طلبا من رسول عليه صلاة والسلام أن يدعو الله له أن يرد عليه بصره فأمره النبي صلى الله عليه عليه صلاة والسلام أن يتوضأ وأن يصلي وَأَنْ يَسْأَلَ مِنَ اللَّهِ عَزَّ وَجَّلْ أَنْ أَنْ يَقْبَلَ الشَّفَاعَةُ الشَّفَاعَةُ الشَّفَاعَةَ نَبِيهِ نَبِيهِ فِيهِ فَفَعَلَ تَوَضَّأُ وَصَلَّ وَدَعَ اللَّهِ أَنْ يَقْبَلَ اللَّهَ شَفَاعَ شَفَاعَةَ نَبِيهِ فِيهِ وَدَعَ لَهُ رَسُولُ صَلَّى اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ وَسَلَّمَ فرد فرد عليه بصره والله على كل شيء قدير فهو حديث صحيح وفيه توصل إلى الله بدعاء الصالحين وعلى هذا أهل العلم من أهل السنة يعني ما في مخالفة للعقيدة ما في دعاء للأموات ما في دعاء لغير الله إنما دعا الله عز وجل وطلب من رسولي أن يدعو الله له فدعا له الله فقبل الله فقبل الله دعاء نبيه فرد فرد عليه ببصره والله على كل شيء قدير سبحانه The Sheikh answered this with a beautiful answer half of Allah ta'ala he said the hadith about the blind man seeking intercession through dua by uh, through the dua of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam meaning that the prophet alayhi salatu wasallam made dua for this man he said it's a hadith sahih it's an authentic hadith and there is no uh, there is no uh, thing way in which it differs from the Quran nor from the Sunnah uh, to seek from the messenger uh, to seek from the messenger alayhi uh, salatu wasalam by by of course during his life and to uh, supplicate to Allah have he, have the messenger alayhi salatu wasalam supplicate to Allah for him. And his uh, he he received his sight back, so the Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam commanded him to make wudu, you know, perform ablution, and to pray, 
and to ask from Allah Azza wa Jal and to, uh, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept his shifa, to, uh, the, the intercession of his prophet alayhi salatu wa salam. So then the man did this and he made wudu and he prayed and he supplicated to Allah to accept uh, the intercession of the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam in this issue. So he, the Prophet alayhi salatu wasallam, supplicated for the man, and the man's sight was returned, and the law is over all things omnipotent. And this is a, a sound hadith, authentic hadith, and it, contained in this hadith is that to seek. Uh, uh, to come draw nearer to Allah by the supplication of the righteous people, you know, meaning that this is permissible, asking someone who is living to pray for you. That is a person that's righteous, known for righteousness. And regarding this, uh, the people of knowledge from Ahlul Sunnah are, are upon this. You know, they accept this. This is from the creed of Ahlul Sunnah Tiwal Jama'ah. And he said, and he said, there is no, from this hadith and from this point, there is no uh, way in which this uh, differs with the correct aqidah, the correct creed. Nor does this hadith provide evidence for supplicating to the dead, nor, do, nor the supplicating to other than Allah. And for verily, the supplication is to Allah, the Almighty, and to ask uh, that the, the fact that the man asked the Prophet to supplicate uh, to supplicate to Allah for him and the dua then the dua or the supplication to Allah is ex was accepted by Allah and the supplication of the Prophet and then he uh, Allah returned his uh, the man's sight, and Allah is over all things omnipotent, and glorified is He. And so, Ayyul Ahbab, for the sake of clarity, because that was a lot of information in translation, we don't want it to get lost in translation. What we learn from this, Ayyul Ahbab, is that it is permissible in Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah, we hold the Aqidah of supplicating to righteous living people. Supplicating, meaning seeking supplication from writing, meaning you can ask your sheikh or you can ask someone who is known to be a righteous person to pray for you. Brother, can you pray for me? Sheikh, can you make dua for us? That that is something that's permissible. permissible. But however, as the sheikh pointed out in, his, in this, his answer, that it is not permissible, nor is this hadith evidence to, to seek, uh, to ask the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam now because that was during when the Prophet ﷺ was living. So the man asked the Prophet ﷺ to supplicate on his behalf, supplicate to Allah for him. But he did not pray to the Prophet ﷺ after the Prophet ﷺ died or anyone else. And this hadith also is not does not lend any evidence to supplicating to the dead or praying to the dead or any acts of worship to other than Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us with ilm nafi and uskin tayyib wa amalim muttaqabilin. And may Allah guide the ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam back to the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and away from bid'ah and shirk wa kufr wa zandaka and those things which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is displeased with. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina